Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I missed you. El video que les tengo hoy es sobre el muñeco llamado Pepito. I know, his name sounds kind of funny, but it's not funny. Esta historia la encontré apenas ayer because my mom sabe que me gusta el pedo of all this spooky shit. So she had sent me a TikTok of a small part of a podcast. Y me quedé bien picada looking at the TikTok. The podcast se llama Café con Leche. And they had a special guest. Her name is Klaus Garcia. And she's a medium y es tarotista. Me dedico que soy espiritista, parapsicóloga, medium y tarotista. She was talking about her experiences and I thought it was pretty fucking scary. Y me gusta mucho cómo platica. Like, no sé, siento que con ella se puede platicar bien a gusto. Those people that are just like chill and a good vibe, I feel like she's that. And in the podcast, she was being very open about her experiences. Pero ella contó una historia que me llamó muchísimo la atención. Y la historia es sobre el muñeco Pepito. I just haven't been able to stop thinking about this story. Así que Pepito es un muñeco que compró su papá. Él compró ese muñeco para hacer un show en la fiesta de su hijo. El muñeco es un muñeco de ventríloquo, which is those dolls that they would use back in the day, also known as dummy dolls. They were used and still mostly used for stand-up comedy shows and have a vintage look. Some of them look kind of creepy. The ventriloquist moves the dummy, holding his lips still, creating the illusion that the dummy is the one doing the talking. Así que su papá agarró ese muñeco to do a show for his son's birthday party. Ese muñeco lo han tenido por 38 años, que la verdad es un chingo de tiempo. A Pepito lo trataban como si fuera otro hermano de la familia, lo cambiaban de ropa, de zapatos, le cortaban el pelo. Y lo, nosotros lo tratábamos como si fuera un niño chiquito. Ay, como nuestro hermanito. No, pues le compramos ropa, este, incluso yo le cortaba el pelo cuando estaba niña. Hasta que una vez que le cortaron el pelo, se dieron cuenta que el pelo le creció. Y ahí se dieron cuenta que Pepito tenía algo especial. Al muñeco lo tenían en la sala, pero ella dice que haz de cuenta cuando iba a la visita o just people would go to the living room in general they would get creeped out because the doll was there. And I mean, I can only imagine that does sound kind of creepy, like going to the living room and then like just looking at the muñeco, like it probably feels like if he's watching you. Todos le tenían miedo, así que lo pasaron al cuarto de su mamá. Y después cuando pasó el tiempo, se dieron cuenta que le estaba cambiando la cara. Pepito se miraba diferente y se miraba enojado. There was a time when the mom told Klaus que si podía cambiar a Pepito y Klaus lo iba a cambiar, pero después ella sintió una sensación como que Pepito la quería morder. I'm imagining she felt kind of like how I feel with Goofy sometimes. Así como cuando sientes que un perrito te va a morder. You know, you feel like a little tension. Pero feeling that from a doll, that's creepy. Así que ella no lo pudo cambiar. Le dijo a su hermana que si ella se animaba a cambiar a Pepito. And the sister felt the same thing. She felt like if the doll was about to bite her any second. Later, weird things started happening. They started hearing noises in the stairs. Things would turn on. Sometimes the cats would be inside of the rooms. 
and I'm guessing that the cats wouldn't be allowed inside of the rooms or I don't know but they had no idea how the cats ended up inside of the rooms and they started having the thought that they had to get rid of Pepito now they didn't know how they were going to tell the dad porque era su muñeco por 38 años I feel like that's pretty meaningful like having a doll for 38 years they were left with no choice but to tell him so they gathered and they told the dad that Pepito had to go. There was way too many weird things going on. Le pedimos permiso y sabe qué onda? Pues se habló y Pepito ya no tiene que estar aquí porque Pepito este tiene algo metido. Y Klaus contó que cuando le dijeron a su papá sobre lo que estaba pasando con Pepito, su papá dijo, sí, ya sé, tiene como dos o tres entes. Mi papá, ah, oh, sí, ya sabía, tiene dos, tres cosas metidas. Si mi papá me dijera eso, I would be like, ah, chinga. Like, the dad knew all along. El papá sabía y él estaba de acuerdo que se tenían que deshacer de Pepito. Con miedo, agarraron a Pepito, le quitaron la cabeza lo metieron a una bolsa negra con un rosario y se lo llevaron al cerro para quemarlo. And this is when things get even creepier. They were on their way to the mountain. It was Klaus, her uncle, that had experience with setting things on fire, which is what they wanted to do with the doll so they can get rid of him. Llevaron también a una monja. Cuando Klaus estaba caminando hacia el cerro, dice que sentía como la bolsa se movía. La bolsa en donde estaba Pepito. Se me movía la bolsa. O sea, se me movía la bolsa. Como que, como que no, ¿eh? Y yo escuchaba al mono decirme, aquí déjame, pues no hay bronca, déjame aquí. Y yo, no, no puede ser. Y mi tío que no lo conocía, vuelta y me dice, dile a ese pinche mono que se baje si quiere que camine. Dude, yo creo que estaba retorciendo del coraje. Estaba diciendo que lo dejaran ahí y no sé qué. Like, it reminds me about the story that my dad told me once. And he actually shared this story with you guys in los videos que hice con mis papás. My dad said that he went with a friend to go get a limpia or an exorcism. I forgot. Y que el espíritu estaba mentando madres. Les decía, no, que chinguen a su madre y no sé qué más. I'm just like, dude, that is insane. You would think que un espíritu o demonio Van a hablar, pues, normal, you know, like, without slang, but in a really creepy voice. But no, like, they be speaking slang and everything. So the whole time, while they were walking up to the mountain, the uncle and the girl were hearing Pepito talk and the bag was moving. They ended up setting the bag on fire and the bag dissolved y después salió Pepito con la cabeza puesta. He wasn't dissolving. She mentions that the only thing that was coming out of him was a green foam, which is weird because that has nothing to do with the doll or the material that the doll is made of. They were throwing gasoline at him, holy water, and she mentioned a whole bunch of things that they were throwing to set him on fire, pero nomás no se quemaba. Later, she says that Pepito fell to the ground as if he was saying sorry, and a whole bunch of zancudos appeared going directly to their face, to the people that were there. So they just started praying. Klaus said que se desesperó and she just ended up grabbing a stick and poking the doll in the face because the doll would just stay in perfect condition. Después se hizo haz de cuenta como un tornado y salió una sombra que parecía como un hombre altísimo. Se, se hizo así como un... Un, ¿Cómo se llama? Un, Remolino. Así grandísimo y se ve a un fulano parado así grandotote. Quemaron todas las cosas de Pepito y las fotos. So she doesn't have that many pictures, but she did share a few pictures. Y dicen que se ve cómo le cambia la cara. Y les voy a poner la foto aquí. Thank you. 
I just think it's so crazy how things like this happen with dolls, especially when we give them that energy. And I feel like it's very common for Mexicans because my family, my mom's side, they had a niñito dios, que era un niñito dios antiguo, creo que ni siquiera tenía color, y dicen que cuando lo cambiaban, he would blush porque le miraban sus partes privadas, y le daba vergüenza. También a veces en las mañanas tenía sus guarachitos llenos de lodo. Y decían que era porque se salía a caminar. And they were so normal about it too. Something else that is super random is that once I went to hang out with one of my supporters. And I was doing her makeup in a house. Y cuando le estaba maquillando en la sala, me di cuenta que había un muñeco. No me acuerdo si era un niñito dios o nomás un muñeco antiguo. But they had him like in a little display, like a clear display. And she was telling me que ese muñeco hacía cosas raras, así como Pepito más o menos, que a veces cambiaba de posición, que escuchaban ruidos y muchas cosas así. It's just so crazy how families are used to these things and are okay with living like this. I'm just like, damn. I think I would be scared as fuck if I had a doll like that in my living room. Pero pues cada quien, you know, I don't judge, I respect it. Pero sí me da miedo, la verdad. And I just had to share this story with you guys porque me quedé bien picada cuando miré este podcast. También la muchacha habla de que ella hizo un exorcismo and that she actually felt very scared that she started praying to God and she was like, ay Diosito, ¿qué voy a hacer? And dude, she said that the possessed person looked at her and said, ¿Qué? ¿Qué vas a hacer? <gasps> oh no. That is fucking scary. That's fucking scary. And yeah, guys, this is it for today's video. If you liked it, make sure you give me a thumbs up down below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your notifications so you can get notified for the next time I post. Follow me in all my social medias, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.